Okay, so today's website, it's going to be Disney Plus. And I chose Disney Plus because they were late into the game on streaming. So at this point, they already had uh, Hulu, you already had Netflix, Amazon Prime. And they chose to go visually with a style where everything is like big, massive, and taking up a lot of real estate. Uh, massive amount of padding, massive amount of margin between stuff. And I, I, I'm assuming the logic behind this was the idea that, well, it's going to be more geared, at least the original concept, I, I imagine, is that it's geared towards families and geared towards kids. So, you know, big, bold things so that it's very easy to navigate. And, but I, the thing is, is that the whole point of a thumbnail is that it is easier to navigate and if you don't believe me i mean just take a look at the way um you know uh, kids can na easily navigate through youtube just through the thumbnails the thumbnail contains all the information you really need um or at least a vast majority of it and uh, although i can see the 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 benefit of having these massive Disney, Pixar, Marvel brands up there, National Geographic, um, do we really need them taking up all this real estate that could otherwise have been um, another line of videos? Because in most cases, people usually come to these browser services, they know uh, they're either coming they're coming to these streaming services uh, to browse for something specific, uh, something that's recent, something that they were previously looking at, um, as well as, uh, you know, they're not going to usually search by brand necessarily. Um, if they were, then they're probably looking for something specific, in which case they're looking for a search. So there's a couple of aspects on this that I think we could improve on. Um, the very first is, is just kind of shrinking things down they're taking up, it's taking up just way too much real estate okay so uh, what I did is I took it um, and actually uh, went to the code and did a quick modification so so this is me just going to the code and quickly um, running through some quick changes and you'll notice that just shrinking those icons down just a little bit brings it just fits so much more content right um it's just significantly and then i also took the uh top scrolling banner and just 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 shrink it down a little bit you know it doesn't need to be this massive thing taking up all the space um and this becomes even more prominent and obvious uh when you switch down to a tablet um, which is also a common form factor um, so once again, I, I think we can kind of shrink things down. That's fine. Actually, what I'd probably do is I'd probably want to take these items here, right? Take those, those big five. And, uh, if they're meant to be in more of a navigation situation, then why don't we just go ahead and put them up here, right? Just put your, your, your main five, um, brands right here. So we can easily click on the icon. That seems a little bit more uh, hopeful. <laughs> um, now, what else do we got? So, as we scroll down, there's a couple of things that you know I think could also be um, tweaked. These are are massive, right? But I think these are um, well. Right now, it's Marvel origin stories. So, if they're trying to bring attention to it, then sure, make it nice and big, and you know, bring attention to it that way. Um, what I would say is a is is a real issue is if you scroll down here. You'll see that um, where'd it go? Watch, watch again is like way hidden down here. Some for some reason, um, and then there really should be the continue where you left off, right? Continue watching, right? Why is that the third one down? It recommended for you really should not be the first one. Um, I, if I'm if I started something, I definitely want to finish it first. So really, your continue watching should really be moved up to the first row. Uh, into Disney Plus. Okay, you can go ahead and I guess leave that as the second row, um, if you if you want to. That's fine with. Um, and then you can you know make whatever you know jumps you want to do, uh, with the different other categories that are are, are less. Um, you know you can make based on whatever gatherings you have from your research. You can go ahead and make those other categories. But I would say definitely the first one should be continue watching. And another thing too is when you press continue watching, one thing that should definitely happen is when you click on it, 
see it just goes straight into the video which which although does sound nice it's it's great sometimes it's great sometimes the problem is um it's nice to have that at this point we've gotten used to that intermediate uh step because sometimes if you continue watching specifically on a series one thing you'll notice if you're, if you're used to watching a series is maybe you don't want to watch this episode but you want to continue watching an episode of the simpsons but you don't want this one specifically so i, I want to click on the simpsons right and be brought to this menu right so it, it makes it what i would recommend instead is um a pop-up that would have something like this um and it would just be continue playing and then it would show the episode you're currently on, you know, little thumbnail, all that stuff, um, and, and then continue from there. That makes a little bit more sense to me. I think that covers it. Yeah, so those are my probably tweaks. What we're going to go ahead and do is I am going to take my suggestions and see if I can apply them into uh, something that we can actually visually see over on Figma as a prototype. And that'll be another video. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.